Hey, how's it going, guys? My deadly mercenary family comes with words here, bringing you the Batman reviews, issues 10 to 11. The name of the story is called I Am Suicide, and it involves many characters in the Batman lore, but uh, before that, I want to give you a really big up, a uh, really small update. Uh, what's going on? Sorry, I haven't been uploading. The only reason why I haven't been uploading is because I've been really busy with work. Hopefully, in maybe in a month, I'll be gone, so I'll be able to do this most consistently. But I just want to apologize, and let's see if you guys could uh, bring some of your friends over to make this into a 25 subscriber channel. Uh, I'm really am happy that to see that I, I got 22 subscribers, and hopefully everything's okay and everything keeps going. And at least I want 25 by the end of the year. And let's try to make it there. But anyways, back to where we came from. That's the review for issues number 10 to through 11 of The Batman. It is written by Tom King and it is illustrated by Mikkel Janine. I, I hope I mentioned it right. Uh, like I say, I'm horrible with names. But anyways, uh, so far I like the art style and so far I like the stories. The stories are really, really great. They're good. Oh my gosh, if you haven't seen or read any of the stories... Go check them out at Comic Story and Comic Story and already published and then also go check them out yourselves. They're only three bucks. Three bucks guys, just three bucks. Check out their stories. Go help them out because they really need support from us, the consumers, so they can keep going with this and they're doing a magnificent job. And that's why I started buying their work because they're doing great and they really need, you know, our help from our comic book readers to help them out. So anyways, uh, let's go back to the review. So before I, we start off, I just want to state out that this is a spoiler review. So, you know, we're going to be talking about this you know, spoiler. Like, we're going to be talking about major spoilers here. So if you guys want to read it, go read it. I rec really do recommend it. So before we start, I want to give you just a really, really fast review of non-spoiler. It's good. It's good. It's that good. I give it four out of five bats uh, so far for both issues. Uh, so go check them out. Now, let's go on to the spoiler. So, if you guys haven't been up to date with the stories, uh, well, all you have to know is that in the beginning of this issues, uh, Superman-esque figures show up calling themselves Gotham and Gotham Girl. Gotham died because of uh, reasons that you should go read for yourself. And Gotham Girl right now, at this moment, is trying to help out Batman. However, she can't sleep because she's having nightmares thanks to this villain called Psycho Pirate. And Batman is trying to find Psycho Pirate so he could relieve so he could relieve Gotham Girl from these nightmares. So the issue starts off with a little bit of Bane's backstory. I mean, how he was surviving when he was being tortured as a child or whatever. And then un unknown to me at the time that I was reading this, Bane apparently rules his own country. And Bane is hiding Psycho Pirate. And like I said, Psycho Pirate is giving Gotham Girl nightmares. So it goes off with Batman gonna go look for uh, Psycho Pirate. And in order for this, he is not bringing, around, bringing the uh, bad, bad family in. He's not bringing... Those guys in, he's actually going to Arkham Asylum and basically creating his own Suicide Squad, which involves Bronze Tiger, the ventriloquist. If you guys don't know who the ventriloquist is, it's the guy with his uh, puppet, and he's weak and the puppet's stronger. That guy's the ventriloquist. Also, we have Jewel and Punchy. And last but not least, he's bringing in Cap Catwoman into this his little Suicide Squad. So, uh, so he's going to bring this group, and he's going to Bane's country that he's ruling now and he's gonna go look for psycho pirates so he already has everything planned out you know as batman is he once you give him prep time he has it but however i know to my knowledge again you know I, this is my first couple comic books i've been reading but i apparently catwoman killed like 300 something people so you know you, obviously there's some there's that puts a damp in the relationship so i just wondering how this is gonna work out so they go to the island to get everything prepared you know, everybody's in position, and in the end of the day, Catwoman backstabs Batman, kills Jewel and Punchy, and basically now the next issue is Catwoman's basically gonna tell Bane what's gonna go on. So, uh, so that that was that was the main part of the issues. Uh, I really do recommend this. I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit of uh, summary of what, the, what happened, 
and how I think of it, I think it's great. The illustrations, great. At one point, Batman punches Gordon in the face, and that's great. And you'll, you'll be like, but why, why, why would he uh, punch his uh, best friend, dearest of uh, uh, you know par partner in crime, uh, person, Gordon guy? And I'll just tell you, go read it yourself. It's really good. Again, I give this issues four out of five bats, and that's really good and that's really really good and I really did enjoy this issue I can't wait for the next one because you know the next one's coming out like December 7th and I can't wait I just can't wait so Tom King you're doing great you're doing fantastic I know you're probably not watching hearing this or watching this but you're doing a fantastic job keep it up and I can't wait to see what lies ahead with Catwoman Batman Bane you know Batman trap that uh, I'm just crazy stuff is gonna happen I know so that is it guys hopefully you like the video give it a thumbs up if you like this review let your other people know come on let's make it to 25 we already got 22 why not make it 25 anyways go check out my other videos uh, they're gonna be right here and remember guys subscribe like comment down below if you're gonna go read this, oh, what, you know, any other questions you guys have about the issues, and I will probably answer them, so you guys could be more intrigued and we could support our comic book writers and artists and our, our comic book industry in general, so they could strive and give us great content. But anyways, this was Cosmic Mercenary. Remember guys, stay vigilant, and see you guys next time.